everybody and welcome to Minecraft 1.20 sort of because um Bedrock now has the access to what um Java would call snapshots and as you can see here I am in the trail ruins which is the new thing that comes with 1.20 the new structure and where archaeology comes into play and I think this is something that we can use I've got the brush here and if we do this I'm pretty sure we can get something out of it and we've got white dye which um, obviously this is the archaeology so obviously white dye isn't really useful but um this is archaeology we've officially got um this sort of thing in minecraft bedrock edition and you can do this to any block i think uh is this brushing to go anything the pixels aren't really changing so i don't think there's anything there but you can brush any block which is really cool to think about and um, obviously, the gravel now has a different texture if it has something in it. And um, they're here. No, that's normal gravel, I think. That is normal gravel. But as you saw when I did do that bit of gravel over there, there was a completely different texture to it, which is really cool. And this sort of feels like uh, it was caved. But I don't know if they normally... I don't think they think they normally spawn in a cave. They're pretty rare. So I did have to slash locate to find this one. And it was about a thousand blocks away from where I was. But, um, as you can see, I think what the thing is, is they just dug all of this out. And it looks super cool. And I don't know if there really is anything else in these. If I just go into spectator and just see if there's anything else inside. Uh, no, there isn't really. Inside is just random blocks placed everywhere it just it was it looks pretty hectic in here uh and probably not something that you would really like to um get attacked with but anyway uh let me just go and check out the other things that have come with the 1.20 update and that includes the cherry blossom and the bamboo blocks so obviously as you can see here this is cherry bamboo and bamboo mosaic and these are all the new blocks that are coming with, the new ty wood types that are coming with 1.20. And another thing is hanging signs. So normally when you get a sign, and um, you, you all know what it looks like with a regular sign. If I can just find them, they're there. Regular sign, it looks like that. But now, they look like that. And for Bedrock, when you click right click, you can now modify what the signs say. So this is what hanging signs look like, and this is what the old signs look like. And they look like a lot cleaner textures, but I think that might just be because this is a newer block. Let me just see what the new hanging signs look like for um this. Yeah, they're a lot smoother than the old wood type, and then the old signs. And now obviously we also have the log variant of... um. Of cherry this is the regular log variant and this is the strict cherry log variant and all of it is just really really cool we also have now access to the sniffer right here and the camel and as you can see these mobs are absolutely gigantic and it is really really cool to see and I think if I get a saddle really quickly uh, we're going to be able to ride these things. So, uh, where's saddle? Hang on. Uh, saddle. Here we are. There it is. Saddle. If I jump on this guy and put this here, I now have control, I think, over the camel. And it just looks like a really, really cool texture. And judging by the fact that there's a space there, can you put chests on them? Uh, you cannot. Unfortunately, you cannot put a chest on them. But look at that camel, man. If I just clear this. Oh, so sorry. So, no, 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 camel. Come back, come back, come back, come back. I am so sorry, camel. I did not mean to do that. But we're going to get camels in Let's Play Minecraft eventually. And also, wait, did I just... Hang on. Wait, do we crouch when we get um hit by blocks? Hang on, let's have a look. When we're here... Then we go under. The character now crouches go underneath those blocks. That is something that's never happened to before. And talking about crouching, this is something that is brand new to Bedrock Edition. 
So if you're on bedrock, you know that when you have something like this, that is one and a half blocks wide or tall, you can't walk through it. That's just how it is on Minecraft Bedrock Edition right now. But now, when you crouch, you may notice it's a lot smoother. And you actually seem to be going down a lot more. And that is because now, we can go from not being able to do it, because normally we wouldn't be able to do it. Now we can do under here. We can now crouch one and a half block. We can now crouch under one and a half blocks, which is amazing. And that, if that sniffer gets out of the way... That is all the new stuff that's come with 1.20. Oh, actually, we've got the spore flower, which is another, like, uh, I don't know why it's here, but it, it does look pretty cool, I guess. But I don't really think about um, why it is here. But um, real quick, we have another thing to talk about, and that is these chiseled bookshelves, which I have actually forgotten about, and it's not what I was talking about at all. But if I can just find books, and the creative menu for Bedrock is still... As confusing as it has ever been. Uh, where the hell are books? Uh, there they are. I'm pretty sure if we put a bookshelf here, we can place... Look, we can now place the books there, which actually looks super cool. And if the sniffer gets out of the way, that looks a lot better than the regular... Um, this is the regular one, how it has been for years. And this is what you can now make for bookshelves, meaning that they're a lot better... And obviously, it's probably, probably going to be a lot cheaper as well to do stuff like that. But I, what I want to talk about is the smithing table. And obviously, here's where Suspicious Skull is and Suspicious Sand. But as you know, this is a completely different to how it has been for years. Now, ever since the smithing table came out, it used to be item and plus neverite. And now that's your item. But obviously now... That is not how you make neverite anymore. Now, if I get a neverite ingot and I place this here, nothing happens. As you can see, it's not upgrading. Which is probably a right pain for people because now you have to go to a bastion and you have to find a smithing template. And to do this, this is now how you create neverite armor and you're also going to need apparently a neverite ingot as well so that is now how you make neverite you need the smithing templates which means you have to go to a bastion and find one you need the diamond helmet and the neverite to make a neverite helmet but that is not the only thing that has now come with 1.20 if i get the most renowned thing it's probably easiest to see if we get one of these and we get a let's get a Random one. Let's get... You know what? Let's get one of each of these. I will be back in a second and we're going to test out what every single sniffing template actually looks like. Okay, so the sniffer literally right in my face right now. Please go away, buddy. I have got every single sniffing template and we are going to test them on a diamond chest plate. So we're going to start with the sniffing template of Century Armor Trim. And we're going to add it with Neverite. And this is what this looks like on our thing. If I get a full set of diamond armor with this. Actually, no. This is what it looks like. And first, not the best one, I don't think. I think there are better ones. Now, one question that I have is can you change the armor trim? So if I try the Vex armor trim, can you change it? Yes, you can. So this is the Vex one. And this is actually, this looks like the Evoker mob, but you put it on. It also looks like you've got a tie on your Neverite chest plate, on your diamond chest plate. Which is really, really cool. And now we are going to try all the rest of them and just see what they look like. So I will go through the names of every single one. The first one is called the Wild Armor Trim. And this is, looks like, this. Again, it looks sort of cool. I'd say it looks quite cool. Obviously, I can't zoom in all the way. If you want to get a full analysis, you're going to have to go on a Java Edition world. But, um, please don't leave yet. Uh, here we have the Coast Armor Trim. And again, really basic. Just a pretty basic one. It's just some lines. But again, 
they do look pretty i think i think it's a really cool thing to add to minecraft here we have the dune armor trim and it's definitely gonna be the one i'm gonna be using in let's play minecraft for sure just look at that doesn't that look really really cool um yeah this is probably one of my favorite ones now obviously when you're holding the diamond armor it looks identical in your hands because i don't think they've updated the textures properly yet but our next one is called the wayfinder armor and this one pretty basic again i think if i just zoom in here it looks pretty basic uh just some lines again you're gonna see that happen quite a bit but um you know what i'm gonna use this right here to show you what they look like now but um here we have the shape the shaper armor trim and this looks pretty basic as well actually i can barely even tell if it's on but this is probably the worst one of them all but um again it looks sort of cool uh here we have the rib armor and that's what it looks like there's just some lines i've got to go through this quite a bit now so on the character it looks like this that is actually really cool as well obviously it's not that good on highlights for me because i've got pretty dark clothes on my skin uh here we have the spire armor trim again pretty basic there are some better ones some of them are weaker this is the eye and this is probably one of my favorite ones again as you can see it looks like you've got a massive eye of ender on your armor and it looks super super cool here we have the razor armor again another pretty basic one but um this is just the chest plate if you want to see a full different thing but um obviously here we go uh this is snouter and then the rest of them i'll just show you on here this is tide um this one is silence and this is probably the one this is the warden one so probably one of the rarest ones you're going to get the ward armor this is the literal warden one and right here is the host armor and that is all of the ones for the chest plates so apart from that guys if you guys are excited for 1.20 i'm going to be covering lots and lots of this update because it is a really really big and really cool update then make sure to like and subscribe and i'll make a video right after this one for armor trims going through every single armor trim and everything like that but apart from that guys if you did enjoy this video then make sure to like and subscribe i've been emerald lords and i will see you in the next video goodbye